Today on First Story. Basketball is religion. Shooting for bragging rights. And basketball's huge. The biggest basketball tournament on the West Coast. Every community plays it. Five! Can't Two! Can't it's part of our culture. It's like my family. Anytime I, I need to go somewhere to think, I just go to the basketball court. The all-native basketball tournament showcases some of the best athletes from Indian country. Thinking about my death and when I dream, it's worse to see my freedom from up above and all the people disperse. Lauren Cardinal from CTV's comedy series Corner Gas and Andrea Menard, star of APTN's Rabbit Fall, are once again the hosts of what has become the most important celebration of First Nations musical artists in Canada, the Aboriginal People's Choice Music Awards. It's, it's a fantastic celebration is what it turns out to be because we have so much talent in this country and all coming to one place and uh, and. God, we're talented and good looking. <laughs> Crystal has come a long way since she wrote her first song at age nine. Her father was a truck driver and she would accompany him from Michigan to Nashville, the heart of country music and the city where she now resides. Now after signing with RCA Records, she's paving the way for Aboriginals in country music, one award at a time. I literally started singing since I could make noise. I took the stage when I was six and ever since I was three I declared I wanted to be a country music singer and um, it's been a long road. I've been, you know, I left home when I was 13 and moved to Nashville when I was 16 and it's, um, I've been very blessed. I've been very blessed that um, I ended up here. We have a, a large pool here in Houston called the Neutral Buoyancy Lab and in that we simulate weightlessness. You know, the suit weighs about 300 pounds, so once you get in the water, uh, you have weights and little styrofoam on it, the, the divers will actually make you neutrally buoyant. It is the most realistic way we can simulate what we're going to do in space by actually being able to translate and move around the, uh, the structure and do the tasks. It was time. All the training and hard work was about to be put to the test. Harrington was getting suited up for the mission of a lifetime. Mission specialist number two, and our first Native American in space. Two, one, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Endeavour, another building block for the foundation of the International Space Station. Once in orbit, Endeavour slowly maneuvered towards the space station to prepare for docking. The cargo they were carrying was a new structure called the P-1 truss, the size of a football field another piece of the continuing expansion of the space station. Then you have a go for P1 grapple. On the fourth day, Harrington marked another first when he stepped out of the safety of the shuttle into space, high above his traditional lands orbiting Mother Earth. Well, what a fabulous view. Why don't you do some work so your family won't think you're goofing off out there on vacation? Oh, how true. Luna means a lot to me through my heart and soul because we're, he's in the land of Mukwina. It's the most sacred mammal in the ocean. To the scientific community, this whale is known as L-98, but to the First Nations, it is known as Sukit, an ancestral chief who died three years ago and has now returned to his homeland. In BC between 1991 and 1999, there were 346 First Nation suicides. 59 of them were under the age of 19. On today's show, First story goes international. We meet Japan's indigenous people, the Ainu. And, 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 and,
こう辛い歴史があってでもその中でやっぱアイヌっていうことをあのみんな隠したり。あのー。ここでは、うん、アイヌの伝統的なあ木彫りのものとから刺繍の布物の作品の展示会をしています。Known for its majestic beauty, it is home to some of the most extraordinary species of animals, plants, and aquatic life found on Earth. One of these is Ursus americanus carlote, the black bear. <laughs> Try and get him again. Okay. In、uh, the past decade, we've seen. The trophy hunting or the sport hunting go from, from a few animals a year to、uh, 30, 40 bears each year. As the struggle between the hunters and the bears c o m e to a head, the Haida will continue to hold the bear, Artan, in high regard. Incorporating this unique animal into their culture, their daily lives, and attempting to preserve its role in a delicate ecosystem of Haida Gwaii. It's not a matter of, of whether or not one can justify a hunt based upon the demography, based upon the numbers of bears. If there's 1,000 or 10,000 bears, to me it's still ethically flawed. To remove these incredible animals because they play such an important ecological role.